guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Holla to all my home bargains addicted girls and gals out there because I'm back again for a home bargains haul. Y'all know I am obsessed with home bargains. We've gone shopping there every single month. I do monthly videos in home bargains and there has been some really unbelievable things in there recently and they're only getting better every time I go. So if you are a big home bargains fan, before we get into this big haul, I'd really appreciate if you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my home bargains uploads. I also upload three times a week on this channel. If you enjoy anything from Primark to Prada, then you are probably gonna like it around here. Just a little side note as well, you might be able to hear in my voice, I am not very well at the moment, but I'm persisting with this video because I want to get it up for you all because I have really got some great stuff. Easter is right around the corner, so I've got some Easter bits. I've got some um, amazing, um, um, amazing <laughs> branded names at stupid prices. And I'm going to actually start off with the biggest things I got, which are some awesome storage solutions. Cozy yourself up, sit down, chill out, take this time out for you, and let's get into the video. So as I said, I'm gonna start off with the biggest items which I'm staring at now. Uh, for you all who know and follow my vlogs, you'll know that I have done an organization series back at the beginning of the year. And for my bedroom, I've got fitted wardrobes and on the sh I've got a shelf and I want some really nice storage containers. I actually went to Ikea and ended up spending 45 pounds on three of them. I'm not actually sure if you're gonna see the Ikea come shot with me yet or not. Either way, it's coming or it's up already. They were 15 pounds each, 45 pounds for four baskets. I went into Home Bargains a couple of days later and look at these. If you're like me and you've got a very neutral home, you love your sort of olive branches, pampas, all this, that, and the other, um, you're probably gonna really like these. So I was struggling to find, I was not struggling, Dunelm had some lovely ones. Obviously Ikea have got the lovely wicker ones. Um, so you're not short of actual choice, but I was struggling to find ones that were a decent price because honestly, Donnell was like 20 quid for a basket of this size. I needed big ones like this because I need to store clothes in them. I'd say this is about like 40 cm, maybe 50 cm by about 30 or 40. The wicker basket from the home collection from Home Bargains. This was $5.99. I was so excited to see that. What I loved about this too is not only has it got this lovely linen lining, so you're not gonna snag any of your clothes on the wicker of the basket, but also the wicker of the basket was this lovely muted gray. A lot of the cheaper baskets like end up being that bamboo-y, very yellow wood, which I just don't like. Uh, but this is just gorgeous. So as you can see, I ended up picking up three of them that came to the grand total total of nearly one of my Ikea baskets. So it's fair to say the Ikea ones are going straight back. I want my 45 quid back because I've just spent 15, 16, 17, 18 quid, under 18 quid on these three. I'm excited to go back to Home Bargains in April as well because the garden stuff, I think they've got some new like wicker garden uh, planters and stuff. Oh, fingers crossed, next video. I ended up getting a lot in home bargains. Now I know you can't see in this bag, but this is the huge Ikea bag and it is full. I'm gonna kind of go lucky dip in here, uh, but let's start off with one of the other bigger items that I picked up, but yet amazing value for money. You know I'm a big fan of the home bargains party range stuff, the let's party. I really like their little setups. I've got their Prosecco wall, which I've used a few times now, because obviously they are reusable, they're essentially just cardboard structures. I really liked this one that is the treat wall. So it's 44 by 37 cm and it is in silver. Obviously they've got popcorn on the display here, but you could put whatever you like in there. And what I like about this too is it's so universal for events because a lot of them they do are like baby shower or hen do. And obviously it's like I do or new baby or something. And you can't use that for like any occasion. Whereas you can use this for literally any occasion. It's also white. I'm even more chuffed with this because it was either two or three ninety nine. They don't get this sort of stuff in all the time, but whenever you see stuff like this in Home Bargains, guys, grab it and put it aside because it is so cool to set up a party with loads of bits like this. So I can have my help yourself and my Prosecco wall. I can put little nuts in there as well. Oh, this is so cute. Bring on party season. And I'm saying that at the end of this, uh, <coughs> end of this illness, I'm just like, 
been so bored, bed bound for three days. Do you know what? I'm gonna crack on with, uh, crack on, excuse the pun, with the Easter stuff because Easter's right around the corner. I'm pretty sure you're seeing this vlog the week before Easter, so if you can get out to home bargains, go, go, go. I can't do Easter without buying a box of these. In my opinion, these are the best treats that come out of Easter. Big statement but very true. I love the mini eggs nest cakes. There's just something about them. Cadbury mini eggs nest cakes, absolutely delicious. They are overpriced. I think this box is like £3.49 or something and you obviously only get four little cakes in there so it is kind of pricey but I honestly don't care. I absolutely love them. Ooh, win a dream family holiday. I picked those up and then I also seen this and I grabbed this. So this is essentially the giant version of it. It's the mini eggs chocolate gatto. Apparently it serves eight, but I'm going to strongly disagree with that. I don't know what I'm doing Easter Sunday this year. I might do a roast myself. So this could be a lovely Easter Sunday dessert. I'm pretty sure that whole cake is 5 99 And then like I said, the treats are £3.49, £3.50, something like that. Obviously you can get them other places than Home Bargains, but I find they are the cheapest there. I've seen this a couple of times and I resisted it, but I thought, bugger it, I want it, so I'm gonna get it. It is the very adorable, very cute, Happy Easter, one and a half meter Easter garland. Now they did a few different designs of these. They did actually a whole white one that had little bunnies on it and little eggs and some green foliage but they had the carrot and I just couldn't resist the carrots. You know me, I'm neutral through and through, don't have much color at all. So when there was orange carrots, you might be thinking, oh no, why would you have that? But I have got a real soft spot for the carrot one. I think this was 1.99. They also did a more pastel colored one, I think with just the eggs on it, I can't remember now. If you wanna check out the Come Shop with me, it's not too late if you wanna see all of the new in Easter stuff for Home Bargains. I'll put it in the screen here and I'll leave it linked down below too. Not to mention there was an amazing product in there which is just, well there was multiple but there was one that was really, really cool. Excited to style that, not too sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I am gonna be doing a spring clean with me and decorate with me that should be going live on Easter Sunday. So make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. I don't go over the top for Easter, but I do like little touches. So that, and then this. You guys must have seen Sadie the bunny already, but how cute is she? Like I said, I, I really don't give in to Easter decorations that much. I'm not too fussed on decorating massively, but Sadie the bunny. A wonderful little seagrass, neutral bunny, a lovely size, and she's part of the Lifestyle Edit range, the Tranquility. I really, really like this Lifestyle Edit range. They're very on-trend stuff. Again, you'll see loads of the like normal homeware stuff in that last video I did. Sadie the bunny, I think she was $4.99. She really wasn't, three or $4.99, apologies. It's, I've got brain fog and it's been a little while since I went to the shops. Looking forward to styling Sadie though. She is adorable and super light so it'd be easy to store. I don't give in to many Easter treats, but when I seen this, I knew instantly this was a Marks and Spencer's dupe. So I think it was about three, four, no, it must've been four. We've been in my house three years now. Must have been about four years ago that I dragged Andy, my partner, if you're new around here, down to M&S because I'd seen on Instagram that they do these popcorn slabs. I think we paid around seven pound for our popcorn slab from Marks and Spencer's. I did enjoy it, but my goodness, it, it was a novelty. Seems that other stores have grabbed on now, including Home Bargains, because this is the Hoppy Easter popcorn slab, which is white chocolate coated toffee popcorn with jelly and milk chocolate decorations. And this is what it looks like. It's just nice to see a different style of treat for Easter. I'm not a sweets fan, but Andy will eat the eggs on top. I just love popcorn and chocolate. I think it's such a nice combo. But considering the Marks and Spencers one, we paid, like I said, $6.99, I think it was for it. Could have been more. This was $2.99 and I was like, yes, I need it. Side note though, I went to Aldi yesterday and I found this as well. So it seems all of the brands are now jumping on it. This is the, I'm not gonna lie, I'm more excited for this one. It is smaller and it was the same price. It was about 2.99, um, or was it two pounds or less? It's the milk chocolate poppin' choc, sweet, crunchy and chocolatey popcorn. And yeah, only because I'm not a big sweet, I don't eat sweets, I don't like Harry Bones or anything like that, but 
this chocolate and popcorn yes please a little bit boring but i needed to top jerry up with these if you've got a dog honestly i think these are really really good jerry obviously loves them he's gonna he'll eat anything but these are the chester's meaty chew and this is the chicken fillet ones i get him also the duck ones but they're 100 percent natural chicken breast meat it literally is just like jerky it's about 4.99 for this bag i think you do get a lot in there but i just feel happy that he's basically just eating like jerky so yeah oh what's this oh we have a very happy dash and he can smell the chesters would you like one you've been a good boy looking after mommy haven't you well actually he's not been a good boy yesterday my p louise base came ah, bah, bah, bah. i ordered a p louise eye base through the post this one has decided to start jumping up and ripping the post out of the box and he pierced it. Not happy about that, but for some reason you still get a treat. Very happy dog. I need to put you on the floor down now because you can't eat that properly. Moving on, I am slightly desperate for summer. <clears throat> like, really, really desperate. I've seen these a few times and mm, now, nah, I've seen them a few times and I'm like, just don't buy them, don't buy them, but I was in the mood. I want summer to come faster and I think buying stuff will make that happen. So I did. These are the um, lo Logo Peg Beach Pool Towel Clips. Uh, and I picked up this one because I've seen it a few times and I think it's so funny. It's more neutral and it's uh, white and gold. It says VIP and reserved. And yeah, if you don't know what these are, it's just if you go anywhere that's obviously a little bit windy, you can put your towel down and just clip it to the uh, clip it to the bed. So really good if you go on cruises as well. So it's a holiday essential. So I listened to the packaging and bought it. Couple of boring things, but this, I mean, it's boring, but it's really necessary. It's so good. This is the Dolmio stir in pasta sauce, but this is the slow roasted garlic and tomato. So yum. This was my nan's. I clearly accidentally bought it for her. <laughs> Uh, and then kept it. So this is the Sharwood's stir fry sauce in chow mein. So thanks Nan. I refill all of my hand washes to make sure I'm not using as much plastic. So I always use the Dove moisturizing hand wash, not to mention Dove is PETA approved. They don't test on animals, none of the brand, none of the ingredients. This is fully cruelty free. So yeah, I always buy the refill because as it says, I think it's 80% less plastic. And then boring purchase, but I just got Andy some hair gel. Couple of cleaning items. As you all know, I got a new car, so I'm just buying bits and bobs for it. I spotted these and I thought they'll be handy just to keep in my glove box. They are the Car Store Interior Dashboard Wipes and you get 40 in there. These were like a pound, so lovely. And then my shower. My ensuite shower is doing my head in because the grout is going yellow. I've put bleach, I've left it overnight, I've scrubbed it with a toothbrush and it just, it, it's working a little bit, but it's still very, very yellow. So I remember seeing these in most of the stores uh, and this is the Edding grout marker and it says that it's highly opaque and it's white. So this was 2 dollars I think. If this works, I will become addicted to redrawing my grout, refilling it in, because if it's like the background there of that picture, can you see that? If it's like that, I will be so excited because grout, like fresh grout, just makes everything look so clean. These were new in Home Bargains as well. I actually sell quite a lot of stuff on Vinted. If you guys want to jump on board, I'll leave my Vinted down below. Actually, down below, just so you know, I've got a new link tree. So on my link tree, you can literally get to everywhere. My Instagrams, my home Instagram, my Vinted. Um, and yeah, if you're ever interested in buying any of the stuff, a lot of the stuff you end up seeing in the video because I get sent tons of stuff and I just can't keep it all, then check out my Vinted. And I send out a lot of parcels on that note. So I noticed these in Home Bargains. These were like 49p each and you get a pack of three in each. And I just thought that they were a really good size. I'm always stuck for either ginormous bags or like small mini bags. Uh, so these are a pack of three envelopes and they're 120 uh, by 215 millimeters. And they're just gonna be perfect for like makeup brushes or cosmetics, anything like that. So I picked up two packs because awesome and they're sparkly. Oh, I should have showed you this when I showed you Jerry's um, food, but very quickly you would have seen how excited I got about these in the video. If you've got a dog, maybe necessary. These are the Top Life Puffuccino style 
dog milks how adorable so we always used to give jerry the top life puppy milk and i would buy him the top life nighttime milk as well sometimes just as a treat not always oh i just noticed that it says froth up or simply pour I've got a milk frother so I can froth this up for him. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. These are 69p each and I'm quite excited to give that to Jerry. It's Sunday today, I might might give it to him for a treat. Would you like a puppuccino later? He's looking at me just wagging his tail like, yeah, mommy. Okay, we are coming to the end of the video. You know me, I do have a tendency to save the best for last. I needed a new shampoo and conditioner and obviously with my new journey of only buying cruelty-free items, I am questioning brands that I've always bought. Thankfully, Herbal essences are cruelty free. I think on the back, yep, yeah, they've got the little bunny logo of the cruelty free. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back to this because herbal essence was what I used in school. It's my tried and true. And this one just looked really appealing. It's pomegranate. It's the love me longer conditioner for damaged hair. Now my hair isn't bleached or anything, but I always find it, can you see that? It's just really frizzy. Uh, so I consider it damaged, but it probably isn't, but it can't hurt, can it? I picked up both of them. They were $1.99 a piece, I believe. Apologies if the angle or anything changed. My memory card ran out just as I was getting to the exciting bit. As I said with the hand wash, thankfully Dove is a cruelty-free brand. I am absolutely obsessed with the Dove Glow Moisturizer. So I picked up another one of those. It's in the bathroom at the moment, but it's this one. We all know it. We all love it. It's absolutely awesome. If you are someone like me who just... I like fake tan, don't get me wrong, I will use it, but I get all the faff about it. the sheets getting all stained and stuff and can't be bothered. This is just like a tinted moisturiser. So I picked up that and then next to it I spotted this, which is the same essential thing. It's the Dove Summer Revived Gradual Tanning Mousse. So this is medium to dark results. Now, I've just come to realise actually, is this just a regular tan or is this a moisturiser? Can someone let me know in the comments? I won't use this until I see the comments. Um, but is this like, do you use a mitt and do you have to actually put this on like a self tanner? Or can you use it like the, like the moisturizer one and just put it on your hands and use it as a, like a body moisturizer? Gradual tanning mousse. Let me know in the comments, please and thank you. And the final product, definitely saved the best to last here. Could not believe my eyes when I seen this and it was the only one on the shelves, otherwise I would have picked up many more for my friends and presents, etc. This is the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Drops. I have wanted the tanning drops for so long and they just put me off because they can be expensive. Literally the Tan Lux, that's it. I've wanted the Tan Lux ones for a while but they're like 20 quid. It's not like I can't buy it, I just... One of those things you know you just don't buy it because you're like oh but when i seen that they had the bondi sans one in store i couldn't resist it and do you want to know another reason why i couldn't resist it this my friends was 1.99 i mean look on the screen like how how do they do it at 1.99 it goes to show what a massive profit margin all of these brands are usually making but holler to uh home bargains for being extremely fair on their prices. I'm very excited to use this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you just put, there you go, add two to four of the drops to your moisturizer and mix well and apply evenly over the face and neck. And if anybody's got any tips for these tanning drops or how to use them, any tanning drops that is, not just these ones, let me know. But I am so buzzing with this purchase, this find everything. Right guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude this home bargains haul. I hope you have enjoyed spending some time with me. I'm gonna go ahead and leave some videos on the screen over here for you. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Jerry's moaning because there's someone at the door. I post every single week and I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much for watching guys. Ciao.